Hey guys, TechTipper101 here, and uh, when people see my iPhone, I get a lot of questions regarding certain tweaks that um, I use to modify my iPhone, and one commonly asked one is um, this animation. As you can see, when I swipe through pages, it's not the regular uh, stock animation where you see uh, just a page slide. It actually zooms into the next page, and everyone always asks me, how do I do that? So pretty much, this is a tweak from Cydia called Barrel. Uh, it's spelled like the word barrel, as you can see right there. Once you install it, you get a couple of options. Um, you get to choose all these animations here. There's a lot, and there's always new animations being added um, to the tweak. Uh, you also can show the barrel icon or hide it. Uh, if you show it, pretty much you get an icon uh, on your springboard, uh, this one. And when you launch it, you get the same amount of options. But pretty much it's a lot of animations, so we'll just go through them uh, quickly uh, one by one. So you can always leave it to normal, which pretty much this is the stock animation for all iOS devices. This works on your iPod Touch and your iPad as well, as well as obviously the iPhone. iPhone. Uh, then you have random, which selects any one of the many animations and uh, it does it. So you can have vertical scrolling, zooming, um, and all these different animations, but to get a more in-depth view, we'll just go through all of them real quick. So this is the cube inside. As, if you can tell, it looks like you're uh, from the perspective of uh, being inside a cube. And likewise, cube outside does uh, the perspective of you being on the outside of a cube. And this doesn't lag your uh, iOS device at all whatsoever. Then we have the page slide down, which is uh, pretty much this. Then you have the page slide up, which is the opposite. Uh, this icons uh, come from the top. Then we have curl and roll away. Some of the effects have uh, alternate, some start from the left, start from the right type of thing. This is curl and roll away. Then we have the alternate, which uh, does it this way. You really can't tell the difference, but uh, we also get vertical scrolling, which is pretty cool. But you still have to swipe left or right to do the vertical scrolling, so it may get a little uh, confusing sometimes. But as you can see, it works pretty flawless. Then we have page fade. Some of these uh, effects look better on the iPad because it's a bigger screen so the effect is more dramatic but as you can see uh, the icons are fading from page to page. Uh, we have stairs down right. This, this uh, animation looks better on the iPad because uh, of the bigger screen. Then you have stairs down left which is just uh, alternate. Then you have page squeeze which uh, doesn't look that good on a smaller screen once again. Icon collection, this one is pretty cool. The icons uh, get into a small collection and then pop back up on every page if you do it slowly. Then you have icon scatter, another one that looks uh, good on the bigger screen as you can see the icons uh, scatter away, hence the name. Then we have carousel, this one is pretty cool as well. It looks like uh, more of like flipping pages but I guess carousel works as well. Then we have flippy, which is, this is another cool effect as well. Page zoom is the one that I mostly use, which is uh, really cool. The icon zoom in and out from page to page. Then we have Pac-Man, uh, because as you can see, this looks like the Pac-Man chasing or eating the circle dots or whatever have you. Then we have the merry-go-round, which is also pretty cool. And finally, we have the whirl, which is the newest one added, which basically, uh, scatters the icons off your screen and back. It's a pretty cool animation. So there you go guys. This tweak is called Barrel. It's available in Cydia. All you have to do is launch Cydia, search Barrel. It is a paid tweak though and um, it is exactly uh, $2.99. So it's, it's sort of expensive but at the end of the day that's like a bag of chips and a soda and what have you. So to add the extra customization and the added functionality to your iOS device um, you guys should get this tweak. It really adds uh, some flair to your iOS device and makes it more lively looking. So thank you guys for watching once again. Stay tuned for more tweaks coming. Bye-bye.